Hello, so in this video, we're gonna learn about three additional triangle congruence postulates or theorems, uh, side angle side, angle angle side, and angle side angle. So the first triangle congru congruence postulate we're gonna to touch on today is side angle side. So if two sides of a triangle and the included angle, so let's talk about that real quick, two sides. So we, if you look at this specific triangle right here, we have two sides marked, one with one hash mark and one with two. The included angle is in between the two sides that are marked congruent, okay? So just to be clear about what included angle means. So now, if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of a second triangle, then the two triangles are considered congruent. So here's triangle one, here's triangle two, or RST. And then following the same order with two uh, tick marks, then blank, blank, tick mark there, I guess. Um, again, like our triangle congruence statement really matters. So we have triangle RST is congruent to triangle UVW by side angle side. So now, looking at this specific example, are we going to be able to prove that these two triangles, DKA, and TKS are actually congruent to one another. So the examples is, is kind of keying us to let us know that we have to use side angle side. So it's just letting us practice recognizing if we have enough evidence to say that the two triangles are in fact congruent. So triangle DKA is right here and triangle TKS is over here. So we're looking for one pair of sides. So we have AK that's congruent to TK we know that two tick marks are showing that the two sides are congruent to one another and then immediately after that we have an included angle angle a k d is congruent to angle t k s so then immediately after that we have side k d and side k s so KD is congruent to side KS. And according to our evidence and what we have marked, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So we can say triangle DKA is in fact congruent to triangle TKS by side angle side. All right, so let's see if we can write a proof using side angle side congruence. So we have our givens listed where B is the midpoint of AE and B is also the midpoint of CD. So we have to make sure that we're looking at what we're given as information and notice how our diagram that we have doesn't have anything marked. So we have to use our givens and use our clues to make sure that we are adapting to that information and applying it to the diagram so we can visually see how everything works out. So we're first going to write down our, our given information where B is the midpoint of AE. And the reason why we're allowed to say that is because it's given to us. So I'm going to immediately write down the second given, which is B is the midpoint of CD. And again, our reasons why that we can write that down is because it's given to us. Okay, Because we know that B is the middle point, the midpoint of segment AE, we can mark AB and BE to be congruent because B is the middle of that long segment, making two congruent parts. So then we have to state that AB is congruent to EB because we're trying to prove that these two triangles are in fact congruent. And we all know that we are, we don't all know, but we need to use side angle side according to this example. So by the definition of what a midpoint is, we are allowed to say that AB is congruent to EB, okay? So the same thing applies with the second given, uh, B is the midpoint of CD. We can say that DB is congruent to CB by the definition of the midpoint. So then looking specifically at our diagram, I'm noticing there's not, it's not given to us in language, but in the diagram, we should be able to recognize that, oh my gosh, there's two lines that are crossing that are actually creating vertical angles. So then we can say angle ABD is congruent to angle EBC. And why are those congruent? Because we know that vertical angles are in fact congruent. So if you look at our diagram, we have our side, and then immediately after that is the included angle, and then another side that are more congruent to the same side on the different triangle, included angle, and the other side as well on the second triangle. 
And that is enough information to conclude that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle EBC using side-angle-side triangle congruent postulate.